Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chanel and today I'm going to share with you a little haul about all the classroom items that I recently bought for my classroom. I love them. Some of them I have already been using because we're at the end of the year now, but they're just so special and I love them so much. So I wanted to share and we're not going to waste a second. We're going to jump right into it with this big bin that I have right here. This bin is actually one of the classroom haul items. I got it from my mom and it's so cute. It is like the perfect size and weight. Like I have so much stuff in here. It's incredible. I think it's from TJ Maxx and it's perfect. So the first thing that I got and I have a bunch of these are like these bins. I specifically have this bin for scissors for safety reasons because I don't like leaving scissors out and I like this because it has the claps on them and the scissors aren't mine. They are from my school so there's a bunch of different colors and sizes in there but I feel like the bin is the best way to store scissors and I don't like leaving scissors out so <laughs> I keep them in my cabinets over there. The next thing that I got are a bunch of like these things. I use these to put index cards in, pencils, pens, crayons, like little stuff like that. Last year I used these types of bins for students to submit in work, but they weren't big enough, obviously, so now I use them for much smaller things. These are from like the Dollar Tree for a dollar, and they have so many cute colors, but I like the white just because it's neutral. And finally, one of my favorite items that I buy for myself every single year are these Papermate flare pens. These are incredible. I go through about two packs a year just because I'm always using them. And these are honestly just the best pens ever and that's why I keep buying them. So I have this cute little candy pop pack that I will use in the next school year. Then, oh my gosh, I didn't even realize I had this pack probably because it's opened. I took out one pen, but look at that. <laughs> I didn't even know that was in the bottom of there. Okay, cool. I do not need to buy any more flare pens. But moving on, um, I do have this little storage container and I have this here. It's cool, it's Velcro. I got it as a gift. And when you open it, I have a giant amount of paper clips in there, but this is like the perfect, size to put on my desk. Going on with more storage containers and organizing stuff, I have a specific part of my room where students can put their pens and pencils or get pens and pencils and I use these. I got these from the Dollar Tree as well. They clap which is great and they just open it up and normally this is filled with pens and pencils and whenever they're empty um, I just refill them up. This is a classroom haul item that I've had in my room for the past two years but I love it so much so I'm gonna mention it anyway just because it's like one of my favorite parts about my classroom. I got this as a gift, this Spanish magnetic poetry kit and I hang them up on my whiteboard and I just kind of allow students to play with them, look at them, if they have questions or anything like that. This is specifically made so students can create poetry, but I don't use them for that purpose. I just kind of use them and students can create sentences or just kind of look at them on my wall. They're a great addition and I think it's super cute. Um, I got this as a gift. I think my boyfriend got this for me and it's one of my favorite parts about my classroom. And I have a name tag. It goes without being said. So that is all the fun stuff from this bin right here. Sorry if I'm kind of talking fast because I have like so much stuff that I want to share and I don't want this video to be like 45 minutes. So the next thing that I bought are a bunch of these folders. These were like 15-ish cents. I have like my cabinet completely filled with these things. Um, green is just our school color, so that's why I have green here. But like literally I have like I think a hundred of these because students always need folders and I always like organizing my stuff within folders like because I have four preps I organize each prep by a color so it helps me know that yellow is like ninth grade or whatever so this is really helpful for me for color organization and that would be my recommendation like if you are struggling with organization I like color coding my things um, just because 
because I have so many props. Okay, now we're gonna talk about some of the cool, fun, and cute classroom decor items. These aren't like really practical. They don't have really any purpose in my class other than just being cute. And some of this stuff is from like my travels abroad. And I love bringing stuff into my classroom when I do travel because I am a Spanish teacher. And if I go to, let's say, Argentina, for example, I wanna bring in stuff so my students can look at it and actually see authentic materials. So this is a mate cup from Argentina. It's like basically how people in Argentina drink tea. And I love the cup here. It's engraved with like the person used like a spatula tool like this and they literally made it in front of me. It was so cool. And this is a straw that they use to drink it. It's so perfect. It's so cute. I got this from my advisor from college. I just think the heart is the most perfect, cute, adorable thing ever. And I love it so much. I have it hanging in the corner of my room. And I have this elephant that my supervisor when I worked at college at the study abroad office gave me when she went to Mexico. It is literally so cute. I mean, like elephants are such a cute and underrated animal, honestly. They need more respect. Um, I do have a bunch of plants, fake plants. I mention these in all of my classroom hauls because I'm just always buying more. I think I have like 15-ish fake plants in my room, so I'm not going to bring them all up to show you, but I mostly get them from Five Below. Like they're normally between like three and five dollars and like this is plastic and I cannot keep a real plant alive. So that's why I go with the fake plants and they're really cute like in winter when it's snowing outside and you got like a nice little fake plant in your room. It's perfect. Some of my other cool cute souvenirs are this bike from Argentina and I also have this little stadium from Argentina as well because soccer is super popular in Argentina and a lot of my students are soccer fans so I had to bring that back and my one final thing that I brought into my classroom it's my favorite thing it's this plate and I was really nervous about putting this in my classroom because it's so delicate. It's been great because the students have not touched it, they have not moved it, and I was really nervous that like their curiosity was gonna get the best of them. But if this were to have broken, I would have cried in the classroom. So putting it up is such a risk, but it's like one of my favorite pieces, so I had to show it. And moving on, I literally almost dropped it you would have caught me crying on camera. That would have been so sad. Um, another thing I did get though was a bunch of classroom materials like this so I can create folding boards. You can see I didn't even use this because I went with this theme. I'll show you. It like looks like this. It has like a white background and I have these leaves for the border. I love it because I don't like hanging too much colorful stuff on my classroom that's not needed. Like I like the little pops of color with, you know, a nice white background because I don't like to overdo it too much, but I like the little pops of colors, the neutral, the boho vibe. Um, back here, you would say, Chanel, you're lying. Look at all that color, but this is my desk area and it's not in the center of the classroom. So I'm gonna give myself a pass on that one. And I tried to makeshift whiteboards I would not recommend but I'm gonna talk about it anyways I laminated white pieces of paper thinking that we could just use them as whiteboards and I wouldn't have to buy whiteboards or request whiteboards that was a flop because the expo markers that I have like didn't erase well and you can kind of see it on this one like it left marks it was terrible to erase it just wasn't that good I mean like if you're really in need of something this isn't a terrible idea, but if you can buy whiteboards, definitely go with them because I used these maybe three times in class and I was like, this is not practical at all. So I tried, <laughs> I really did. And I also got myself this nice cute little tote bag, again from Five Below. And this literally is the cutest thing ever. I normally just bring like a lunchbox to work just because I only ever need food and I don't like bringing work to or from school. But this little cute bag literally is the cutest thing ever. So I'm so happy with it. I don't think they sell them at Five Below anymore, but this was so worth 
the purchase. So I'm really happy with this one too. Um, another thing I did get too as a gift, but I'm going to mention it anyways, is this cute little backpack. Um, because I've also gotten a few new tech items, which I don't have with me, but I recently gotten a new iPad, computer, mouse, keyboard, and I think that's it. And sometimes I like bringing those to school, like on my lunch or something, or if I want to plan on my planning period. And these two actually have been great in transporting that. I don't like the big, bulky teacher totes. It's just too much for me. And I feel like I always have to put in more than I need to. So that's why I like the smaller option and these two work well. This one's waterproof and this was a Christmas gift from my boyfriend and it's actually perfect. So I love this so much. And I think the last thing I would have to share is my water bottle. <laughs> Lame, I know, but I got this water bottle um, a little bit ago and this is perfect for carrying my teas, my iced coffees, my fun drinks. And in one of my vlogs I talked about how I lost the original straw or my boyfriend lost the original straw. Um, so we got these off of Amazon and you can like change out the colors here. Normally I have blue but I went with the yellow today. I was feeling it. So this has been a great addition. I got this from Walmart. I think it was like $8 on sale and you can kind of see it's like tearing on the sides because I always put it in the dishwasher Maybe I'm not supposed to but it saves me extra time in the day So I'm gonna continue to do that anyways and that kind of wraps up this classroom haul I wanted it to be quick so you can get all of the cool ideas if you wanted them to include in your classroom Literally everything I got is either from Walmart Target five below and of course the stuff I got while being abroad I think those cute little small things really add so much to my classroom because I'm a Spanish teacher I love bringing real world souvenirs into the classroom and it really just adds up a lot of flair and personality into my classroom that's my whole goal I don't really have a theme like boho or pastel or something like that I like to kind of follow things that just make sense and things that make me happy and my goal is that when students come into the room they feel like happy and they feel inspired and they feel motivated and I like having little pops of color here and there to help achieve that so I hope you enjoyed this classroom haul if you have any recommendations for me in the future make sure you leave them down below and make sure you subscribe to my channel and like this video if you haven't already and I will see you in the next one